Hi, my name is Haley Carr, and this is my presentation for giving gear for athletes. There are many homeless athletes that don't have the equipment and attire to pursue their athletic careers that they may desire. Some of these athletes could end up being professional athletes one day. For example, Michael Orr had a rough time growing up. Once he became a freshman in high school, he applied to Briarcrest Christian School for football. He then continued his football career at the University of Mississippi and was drafted by the Baltimore Ravens in 2009. He also played for the Tennessee Titans and Carolina Panthers, but he had a very rough time growing up like many other athletes may have. Our project goals, uh, we have many project goals for this. Raising money for the homeless athletes is one of the most important goals for this project. The money that is raised for these homeless athletes will then go towards all the equipment that will be gathered for the athletes to use. The final goal is to advertise to the community about the homeless athletes so more people are aware and get involved to help in situations like these. These pro project goals are set up to accomplish being more successful in the community recognize the ones who have the talent but not have received the opportunity. The idea of this project is to give more opportunities to the less fortunate athletes so they can pursue their dreams or careers with their sports. Many homeless athletes are very talented yet they do not have the opportunity to continue to grow their passion because they don't have the right equipment to be successful. We plan to create awareness to show that the homeless some homeless athletes have the talents to and should be able to have the same opportunities as everybody else to continue to be successful in their athletic careers. The plan for this project is to first advertise the situation of homeless athletes starting in February 2018. We will need a group of people to make and post flyers around at local businesses. By the end of February, we also plan to have at least one small group of people to help so we can start setting up ways to raise money, like, for example, fundraisers or local activities or even donations. Throughout this process of this project, there will be many days volunteers will just go out into the community and ask for donations for these homeless athletes. After raising some money at the end of February and the beginning of March, we will start to gather equipment for the athletes. Our number one resource to help homeless athletes is to contact local schools. By contacting these local schools, they can help us to better understand how we can help these homeless athletes and how we can help them to pursue their dreams with their sports. Another resource we have is inviting professional athletes to the community to help promote the project and get more people involved in helping the less fortunate. Contacting other athletic programs and clubs outside of school will help find more homeless athletes to help build them up and provide them those the help that they may need and the fair opportunity to make a career out of their natural talent. Having outside resources will get the community more involved and help the homeless athletes. More than 100,000 U.S. athletes on youth high school and college teams who have secured spots on their school's rosters but have no set place to sleep at night. Colleges are often wary of accepting homeless athletes, but it's the rare ticket that players bank on to being able to change their lives forever. We choose to do a project for the homeless athletes because we felt it was important for the homeless to get the same opportunity as everyone else. Some homeless athletes are some of the most successful professional athletes today. One of the most famously known homeless athletes was Quentin Aaron, in which he uh, inspired the movie The Blind Side, was based off his life journey. Some of the constraints on this project, though, is finding good dates that many people can come help volunteer and make this project successful, and the weather being nice. There are many other projects that are similar to this, 
like the MPHS Garment and Gear Collection, which was done by a junior, Hannah, at MPHS in New Providence, New Jersey. She focused on giving less fortunate athletes the gear they needed to excel in their sports. Other high schools can participate. They, can, they had other high schools participate in helping collect equipment, and they competed with other schools to see who could raise the most money and donations. Global Sports Foundations is another project that's similar. It helps provide equipment to, under, to understand youth sports leagues and families of those with cancer or ALS. They host the Midnight Madness charity baseball game in Sugarland, Texas to raise donations for specific recipients who face financial stress due to their family members having these illnesses. Leveling the playing field is also a very good and similar project. This project um, lowers registration fees and gives more kids the opportunity to participate in sports. They have donations are used to transport these kids to after school activities that they might not have a way to get to and therefore could not participate because they had no way to get to them. They also give these kids snacks for in between school and these activities. Other funds are used to hire more staff so more kids can participate because if there's too many kids to not enough staff, they would have to not allow certain kids to participate because they do not have all the staff that is needed. Finally, our LLOs have to do with the community because we have extensive involvement in the community and this is to uh, benefit both the community and the homeless athletes that are in it. Thank you.